morning and happy new year everybody this is anthony with deal adventures and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and install video of the gen 2 rear ladder from alan caseta a little background on why i uh, purchased this modification for my vehicle uh, now that i have the roof rack on the car um, getting to the top of the vehicle is uh, somewhat of a chore so i do have a little uh, door step that i use to get to the side of the vehicle but as far as getting actually on top of the vehicle, uh, it's it's definitely, uh, I would say, unsafe. So I had a rear ladder on my vehicle before that I had um, made at a local shop, but I was not satisfied with the way that um, it fit. Um, and it also made a lot of squeaks and rattles. So Alan's ladder is supposed to be, <clears throat> um, you know, a very easy install. Uh, no modifications to your vehicles need to be made to have it installed on your car and uh, it shouldn't squeak or rattle so as you can tell this is the way i got it from the mail alan does a great job of packaging it and uh making sure it's secure <clears throat> that way you know it gets to you with no dings or scratches so it's very well very well packed so alan thank you for packing this up so well so one of the first things that really caught my attention about this ladder when I got it was uh, its weight. It's very lightweight. Um, my last ladder felt like it was probably about 20 to 25 pounds. This ladder, I picked it up and I was I was very uh, I was very shocked with how light it was. So figured it'd be a good time to show everybody how how much it weighs. Go ahead and throw this on the scale here. So it's looking like it's about 11.2 pounds. So I, I love how light this ladder is. That just means it's just gonna put less stress on the hinges of the rear door. So I'm not sure how this compares to other manufactured ladders, like the Joust ladder, or, you know, any of those other JDM ladders. But uh, I'm very impressed with the weight of this item. Okay, I've already taken everything out of the packaging. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. Powder coating is very nice. So the bottom of the ladder has the J20 fabrication logo on it. Looks very well built, very sturdy. So the bottom mount point, flip this over here, it's rubberized. So this piece actually sits on top of this piece right here. Like that. This is what hooks onto the uh, bottom of your rear door. And this is also rubberized to protect it from damaging the uh, paint on your vehicle. Then you get this gasket right here. It's marked inside trunk, outside top. So this goes on top of your door to protect the top mount point from scratching up your vehicle rear door. Right, well, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, install this ladder on the Pajero. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the gasket on the top of the door. As you can tell, it just kind of slides into the channel. We grab the ladder and we'll drop the ladder right on top of that. So now that I have the ladder positioned where I want it to sit, I've taken the bottom mount point and slid it into the door. I have it sandwiched right there, if you can tell. Now all I'm going to do is pull the ladder down and make sure that these two um, studs go into the holes, and then I'll bolt this ladder down. All right, so I've tightened down the hardware, the cap nuts that came with it. It's an 11 mil. Try not to put too much pressure on these. I don't want to break the stand off. They seem to be very secure. All right, and our ladder is installed. Let me uh, swing the door closed and make sure that uh, it's not hitting anything when I close the door completely. Just doing some gap checks here real quick.
Yep, looks good up top. Look good underneath. Looking good up top. Perfect. All right, well, there you have it, guys. That's the uh, install video of the uh, second gen Montero Pajero rear ladder by Alan Casado, J20 Fabrications. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.